So what is one of the best lenses of all time for YouTube videos? I'm gonna share with you one of my personal favorites right now. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you move further, faster in media. And we literally just got done with a shoot here, shooting with one of my favorite lenses of all time, the Tokina 11 to 16. So I just wanna share a quick review of that lens, show you some examples, and tell you why I think it's one of the best lenses ever for YouTube. And hey, if you're new to Think Media TV, I do tech reviews, audio reviews, and video reviews on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And also check out show notes and links in the description below. A lot of times I share extra tips, details, stats, all that kind of stuff. Now let's get in to the video. So we just got done with a video influencer shoot, sitting two people right in this chair right here. And we are shooting with this setup right over here. Just one camera, a Canon 60D, and this lens, the Tokina 11 to 16 2.8 lens. Now this lens is a wide angle lens. It's available uh, also for Nikon, I believe, and maybe some other camera bodies. And uh, I'll cut over to example footage and talk a little bit more about why I love it so much. So the reason this is one of the best lenses for YouTubers is you notice a lot of YouTubers like the effect that is created by this lens and specifically how wide it is creates a kind of distorted, unique perspective that is kind of conducive to the quirkiness and creativity of YouTube. And so if this is the kind of look you're going for, this is a great lens for that reason. One of the reasons I like it is when it's completely zoomed out, it's still so wide, I'm sitting literally wide in, right in front of the camera. And so when you cut to this angle over here, I'm so close to the mic that um, the onboard mic can really pick up the audio as opposed to lenses that put you further away. If you're using a shotgun mic, it's not gonna pick you up as well. The other thing that's great about this lens is that at f2.8, meaning the aperture, the f-stop, it's actually really good in low light and it still has a little bit of depth of field, meaning that the background can be a little bit blurry. If you wanna come a little bit closer for storytelling or whatever, you can actually zoom this lens in. So this is at 11, but if you zoom it in to 16, this is how much zoom you get, and for storytelling or whatever, you can kind of get a more intimate shot. And if you look at this example footage that we just shot with one other person, you can see that it's a good lens to have two people on camera, but yet have them still very close to the camera, so the audio can be picked up by like a shotgun mic. And here's another location that I love to shoot out at my desk using just the window light, and again, it creates a super cool vibe, a good look, and you can be very close uh, to the camera. And the, I'm also closer to the LCD screen, so I can um, adjust the screen and adjust the focus being super close. So for YouTubers who are oftentimes a one-man, one-woman show, this is awesome. Now there's a couple other lenses you could look into that will give you this same effect. And one is a popular lens called the Canon 10 to 22, so it's made by Canon. And then there's also the Canon 10 to 18. The cheapest lens is the 10 to 18 by Canon. Uh, the Tokina is next, kind of right in the middle, the one that we're shooting on right now. And then the Canon uh, 10 to 22, I believe, is usually the most expensive out of those. Now there's a lot to be said that compares all of these lenses one to another. I think that some of those other options are better for this reason and that is autofocus. And I think that the best combination, I'm not shooting on one, but really the best DSLR right now for YouTube is a Canon 7D. And if you have a lens with good autofocus, then it has good autofocus in video. But in this case, um, I've been using a 60D, it works great. I have the focus set and I am gonna just stay in focus because it's not on auto, it's just set to manual and it's working great for me. So the Tokina is not necessarily the best in that respect, but the reason I think it's the best is, out of all the lenses, and they're all pretty sharp, I, I like how sharp it is, um, how, how great of an image it produces, but also this, how good it is in low light. And the way you know how good a lens is in, is in low light is based on its aperture, its f-stop. And so it's f2.8, and it's fixed that in the entire zoom range, it doesn't get darker, it doesn't you know stop down. Whereas those other two lenses are uh, not as fast. They don't have as good a, of an f-stop. So anyways, there's pros and cons to those, but when it comes to getting this wide, kind of creative, 
YouTube look, you definitely wanna go with a wide angle lens. And so those are three options. My personal favorite is the Tokina. And uh, you can check out more data and details about all those lenses in the YouTube description below. Question of the day, do you agree? What do you think the YouTube look is? And what is the best all around lens for YouTube videos? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube for more videos like this, reviewing video gear, tech, and audio gear. And I'd love to hear from you what kind of um, videos you'd love to see. Let's connect in the comments. Hit the like button, I would very much appreciate it. And again, there's um, all kinds of extra details and stuff like that in the show notes below. In the meantime, until the next video, keep crushing it, keep smashing it, and we will talk soon. Later. All right, we just wrapped our shoot day. We are prepping for two interviews tomorrow, super pumped. And you can check out the entire playlist from the tour on the YouTube card, and I'll link that up wherever that shows up on the screen around here. So, thanks so much for checking out this video.